All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all honor, all praise, all glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the worldly calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the worldly calls Jesus Christ. I would like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for the Rakakodash. The Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akim around the world. Preaching and teaching his word and truth and in sincerity, shout out one to the hopeful elect. All right. I want to come back with a quick World War Three update. Okay, because this is still on the brink. This is still on the rise. All right. Nonetheless, of what's all going on in uh, Babylon the Great and all around the world, the um, everyday madness, we still got what? World War Three on the brink. All right. That's one of the main prophecies that's going to come to pass. All right. And we see the wars and rumors of wars. Uh, happening right now. All right. So uh, I got this from the Wall Street Journal. It says U.S. stops Iran from seizing an American naval drone. It says unnamed craft is part of a new task force that uses sensors and artificial intelligence to monitor monitor potential threats. All right. And you got an image right here. All right. It says um a U.S. Navy handout image shows a grab from a video of Islam Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy ship left towing a sail drone explorer unnamed vessel in the Persian Gulf on Tuesday. All right, and this is what you got going on out there in the Middle East in those waters, man, in that specific uh part of the world, man. Okay. Uh and that's where the Lord says he's gonna have these end time battles at all right the valley of your house Shapat, okay and that's where what armageddon is going to uh take place and that's all over there in the middle east that landmass okay so uh let's put this up this uh image of the persian gulf all right now the the valley of your house Shapat is might not be directly right here but say a little more to the left so where you can see um israel okay because it was a place where specific battles were fought also. But nonetheless, this is the high area. This is the war zone area. This is the area where these nations are going to gather at and fight this, what, Third World War. All right. That's why they keep butting heads in these areas over, over there. All right. You remember things was going down in the Strait of Hormuz uh, not long ago. All right. So this is the area where the Lord is going to have these nations... Uh, Link up, man. So this Revelation 11 and 14, the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, so that third woe's war is uh, coming quickly. All right, that's why these things keep on happening. These encounters keep on happening. This Joel chapter 3 and verse 12, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, or what, your house of pot, your house judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. That's where the Heavenly Father is going to judge the heathen nations and their armies. It says, uh, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fast overflow for the wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. Yeah, those valleys. All right. Over there in that Middle East, that area. All right, so let's get into a little bit of this article. It says the U.S. Navy stopped an Iranian ship from seizing an American maritime drone in the Persian Gulf on Tuesday in a fresh confrontation that underscored the sharp tensions between Tehran and Washington, U.S. defense officials said. Yeah, so what? You got Iran and Babylon the Great beefing hard, man. All right, and Iran, what are those Persians? So you got that medial Persian spirit coming back into the world. All right, and they ready to go against the Babylonians. It says the episode began Monday night when the U.S. Navy observed an Iranian ship towing the sail drone explorer, an unnamed U.S. vessel equipped with camera radars and sensors. The USS Thunderbolt, a patrol coastal ship, and the Navy helicopter moved towards the scene. The Iranians dropped the tow line and eventually left the area, the defense official said. See, these two navies uh, are coming, what, face to face. One shot 
one uh one shot will set it off, man. They bumping heads, coming face to face, but no throws or uh, no blows are being thrown yet. All right, but it's coming to a point where they're gonna uh they're gonna what fire at each other. All right, and really get this third world's war popping. It says uh the USS Thunderbolt, a patrol coastal ship and the navy okay, I read that. So like no shots were fired by either side, the defense officials added, and the Americans didn't try to prevent the Iranian ship, which was operated by Iranians Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps from leaving. It said Vice Administrator Brad Cooper, the commander of the U.S. Naval Forces in the region, said the Iranian actions which took place in international waters were flagrant, unwarranted, and inconsistent with the behavior of processional mart time force. All right. Uh, and this is what uh, the Iranians saying on their news. It says Nor News, an Iranian media outlet close to the country's Supreme National Security Council, reported that the IRGC Navy impounded the U.S. vessel to secure safe shipping lanes and decided on its own to release it after briefing the American patrol ship about security and safe navigation. All right, so a. Hey, the Iranians, they, they like, hey, we we uh impounded that ship and we let it go on our own accord. They not they like US didn't make us let it go. We impounded and we let it go on our own. Popping they shit. Why? Because um let's go back in Joel. All right. Let me go up a little bit more. Because the weak are saying they strong. Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let the, all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. See, these men of war are drawn up. Are ready to go against uh, Babylon the Great and their uh, armies, man. Okay? The Heavenly Pop Father putting the spirit on these other nations to not uh, uh, be afraid to go to war with Babylon the Great. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all you heathen get and gather yourselves together about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord. So the Heavenly Father is getting these mighty men of war amped up, bold, ready to go to war with Babylon the Great, man. All right. And he's going to bring them to a certain place. To execute this third world war, it's going to be in the Middle East, man. Around, all right, the Valley of your House of Pot. All right, let's grab one more precept because I don't want to uh, make it too long. So, a site and the CDs, uh, countries coming up against Babylon the Great, man. Okay, uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and 11. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. All right. So the heavenly father is going to what? Going to raise up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, man. All right. The Medes, the Persians, all these other countries, the heavenly father is going to have uh, them and their allies raise up against Babylon the Great. And this third world war is going to happen. All right. And this time is going to be with what? Burning and fuel fire. That's why they're bumping heads in the Middle East right now. All right? Over there in the area of the Valley of Yahweh Shapat. It says, uh, yeah, the Lord going to raise up the spirit of the Medes. It said, and, just, and it's like it, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. All right, so all this is going down. Why? Because it is the vengeance of Yahweh by Shimei All right, and this a uh, nice little article. All right, because these uh, skirmishes have been going on. Let me read this too, Salakia. I'm gonna close it out. It's a. Uh, I'll start from right here. It says, there have been other recent encounters between the two sides at sea. See, it's going down over there in that area, man. All right? In that Middle East area. 
over there by Saudi Arabia and all that. It says, in June, three Iranian fast attack craft harassed the USS Sirocco, a Navy patrol coastal ship, as it moved through the Strait of Hormuz. At one point, one of the Iranian vessels came within 50 yards of the American ship, prompting it to fire a warning flare. You see that? So these things are going to keep happening. And then what? Those real shots are going to go off. Those real missiles and bombs and stuff are going to go off. And then it's going to be a point where no, no return. And then ultimately what? Those, uh, those ICBM missiles are going to get to flying. All right? It does say the Lord. It does say the Bible. So just want to bring that out. That World War Three update. World War Three is still on the brink. Tensions are still rising. Okay? In these Middle East areas. Okay, so call Halal Yahweh by Shimei Asha Shalom.